Hello, welcome back. It's so good to see you. So, today is a special day. Well, it's not actually today, but when the video comes out, it'll be a special day. It's my birthday. So, I figured I'd make a video. We could celebrate my birthday together. Um, before we get into the video, though, I do want to mention that I'm going to try and make it relaxing, but I don't think that you're going to get ASMR from this video. Just because I had plans for the video, and then something happened to me today that just crushed my soul. <laughs> so, I have things that I want to talk about. You know, I have to have my little keywords notes over here, or I will lose my train of thought because I've got issues. <laughs> um, but, so if you hear dogs barking or people mowing their lawn, that kind of thing, I'm just going to keep going because today has been a day. And I will let you know what happened today. I'm not trying to get sympathy or anything like that. I just, a lot of times, when I do rambles or story times, it's like a personal therapy for myself. And you, you're always so nice to me, so I, I won't feel judged, you know? Um, so I appreciate you being so nice to me all the time. Um, but anyway, so we're going to be celebrating my birthday. If you have been with the channel for a while, I'm sure you know how old I am going to be today, uh, but I'm not going to say it until the end, if I can remember, so maybe try and guess how old, try and guess how old I am, put it in the comments, and then we'll see if you were right. Um, anyway, so usually when I do a celebrate my birthday with me or whatever, we eat my favorite cake which is pineapple upside down cake. I absolutely love pineapple upside down cake. It is, it's the greatest creation ever invented. And my husband used to be like, ew, gross. And I was like, just, just try it one time. And he tried it one time and he was like, oh my God, I love pineapple upside down cake. And I'm like, see, <laughs> but uh, I'm sure I've mentioned it before. I have stopped eating sugar. No, no sugar. Minimal carbs. But I, I don't want to say that I'm full keto. I would say I'm what they call dirty keto. You know, where like, if I want to eat carbs, sometimes I will. Like last night. Last night I ate a pizza. So my face is probably all puffy because I have noticed that when I do eat carbs, I get very bloated the next day like crazy. Um... So, no pineapple upside down cake, but I'm not sad about it because once I, once I cut out all the sugar, at first it was very hard getting over that sugar hill. And then me and my husband, we had stopped eating sugar for such a long time and then his best friend came and spent the night. He lives out of town, so when he comes to visit, he's, he always spends the night. And I made sopapilla cheesecake, one of his favorites one of our favorites. Me and my husband ate it, and we were like, mm, just eating it up. And then me and my husband got so sick that we were just turned off of sugar for, like, ever. <laughs> I used to be the biggest sweet tooth. Used to have the biggest sweet tooth. I don't know. I don't know how. However you say that. Um, and then just, nope. I could care less about sugar, but I figured since it's like dirty keto, I can have pineapple. So I just cut up a uh, fresh pineapple and I feel like fresh pineapple, uh, those are healthy sugars. <laughs> I don't know. If I get sick, I get sick. So I have pineapple. I don't know how much I'm going to be eating just because I'm really not, I'm not in the mood to eat, but I'm very excited to take the first bite because it'll be like the first sweet thing that I've had in a very long time. Oh my god. 
Wow. It's fantastic. It was almost like I was drinking the pineapple as well. It's like very juicy. Mm -mm. Mm. I'm obviously not going to eat this whole thing because it's too much. But I am going to give some to Ava when I go downstairs because she saw me cutting this up and she was like, Mom, Mom. Ava's my dog, if you don't know. Um, she did get a little sample before I came up here, though. So, she's probably real mad at me for taking the whole thing upstairs. But, I'm like, it's, it's my celebration birthday video. You know? Anyway. I'm gonna set that over there because the bowl is actually quite heavy. And I'm very weak. Um... So, what am I going to be talking about? Oh, why, why did I stop eating sugar and stuff like that and try and cut out carbs? I feel like I've got pineapple stuck in my tooth. Um, maybe that wasn't the best thing to eat in a video. I don't know. Um, but why did I do it? Because I've done lots of research. Lots of research and sugar... It's actually really bad for you. My mom stopped, you know, eating sugar because she was pre-diabetic and now she's not. And I just started doing research and I have MS, multiple sclerosis, as I'm sure you're aware, because I never shut up about it. Um, and sugar and MS do not mix. It, it's very, very bad. And I did a lot of research about cutting out sugar and it can actually reduce your symptoms and mixed with intermittent fasting, I think that's what it's called, um, you can slow the progression down and, you know, stuff like that. I don't want to get into all, all the articles and stuff that I read because boring, boring, boring. Um, but in all the studies or whatever, in mice and people and, you know, study groups and whatever medical journals that kind of thing it says that if you if you cut out the sugars and you cut out the carbs and do the intermittent fasting and stuff like that um it takes about six months for you to notice a difference and i have only been doing it about three months and i have not noticed a difference at all the only thing that i have noticed is that i have lost weight that's just like a bonus. I'm not, I'm not doing the intermittent fasting or the cutting out the sugar for weight loss. That's not what I'm doing. I was doing it for my health and to try and get better because I am going downhill with my MS. Like I'm getting worse and just all the bad things. Um, so I was like, I, I have to try and do something else. And after I did all the research and stuff, um, I was just like, you know what, might as well try it. It's only six months of my life, you know, it, that's not, that's not too long, you know, it feels like it's been a long time, but every once in a while, like, I will, I'll be like, I want to eat a pizza, so last night, we made pizza, and I ate it, it did not make me feel good, like, you, when you start eating much more clean, you can tell this is not real ingredients or you know what I mean uh and it just makes you feel not that great and I always get bloated and stuff you know so anyway I had felt like I lost weight but I didn't realize how much weight I had lost um because at the end of July very beginning of August I um went to the doctor because I needed to get, uh, some more medication, but not my MS doctor. My MS doctor is gone. She just left. Um, and they said that she was going to be relocating, relocating right down the street. It is not right down the street. It's quite far away. So I'm going to have to get a new doctor. Um, and it turns out the new doctor that I'm going to be getting is the only other 
neurologist around here. And it's my old doctor. I finally found out where he went. Finally. Anyway. Gosh, that pineapple is so good. So good. Um, it's, it's like refreshing. I haven't had fruit in like the longest time either, so this is great. Um, but anyway, so I went to my doctor, my normal doctor to get other medications and, um, you know, you, you have to have to stand on a scale <laughs> and I stood on it and I was like, I'm not going to look. And the, the nurse lady, she was like, oh, that's not bad. And I'm like, oh, so I looked down and I'm like, what? that like I was shocked at the weight that it was I had lost 43 pounds that's pretty sizable chunk to not even because I don't I don't weigh myself a lot but I remember what I the last time what I had weighed myself to the time that I went to the doctor and I was like wow 43 pounds that is a great side effect of the no sugar minimal carb type thing. I wasn't even trying. It just, I guess it just came off, you know? I don't know. Um, cause I can't work out or exercise or anything like that. So, um, and that happened in three months of just no, no carbs, no sugar, intermittent fasting, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, but like, I don't even miss the sugar and stuff. You know, like, I know that there are sugars in pineapple, but that's naturally occurring sugar, so it's better than processed sugar. Um, anyway, hopefully it doesn't make me sick. I don't know. I'm hoping because it's a natural sugar, it, it doesn't make me sick. So, let me tell you about the real reason that I went to the doctor. I did need to get a refill on a specific medication, but... I have been going downhill uh, with my walking abilities. Like, I use my cane 99% of the time everywhere. Everywhere I go, cane. And that's, that's new for me. You know, like, I, I have used the cane before, but I haven't needed it always. I'm still okay at my house as long as I have someone to hold on to or something, like a counter, a couch. The, the handle thing on the stairs, that kind of thing. Um, but I am getting worse. And so when we went, uh, I don't remember, I went somewhere with my daughter. And I was like, I just, I can't, I can't walk around right. You know, like, I don't know. I was I was upset because one of the closer parking spots wasn't available and my daughter was like just park right there you're handicapped and I'm like <laughs> I'm like I'm not technically handicapped I've got walk walking difficulties but I was like you can't just park in a handicapped parking spot because I'm limping you know or I have a cane you you have to get one of those little placards or license plates you know and um, I was like I can't just park there but then she's when I told her that, she was like, well, why don't you just go get one of those? And I was like, well, you know, you have to go to the doctor, you get all these things. And, um, the next day I was talking to my mom, telling her about how difficult it was for me to walk around and, you know, stuff like that. She was like, you really need to get one of the handicap placard things. And I was like, and I had just said the same thing. And she has one. My mom has one. So I was like, how did you, how did you do that? You know, and she said that she printed out the stuff because it's a government thing, you have to print out like these government forms and then you have to take it to the doctor and get them to sign these things because you can't just get it, you have to be given a prescription for the handicap placard. So I was like, okay, well I'm going to the doctor on this day anyway, I'll print this out, fill it out, have him sign it and then explain why I need it and like, you know, blah blah blah. So I was kind of like panicking because I was afraid that I was going to have to explain and be like, you know, because sometimes I walk easier than others, you know, but I'm not going to like over 
exaggerate my limp or something for the doctor, you know. So the nurse had asked, what are you here for? And I was like, well, this prescription, but I also need him to look this over and hopefully sign it for me. And she was like, oh yeah, we've been noticing your decline. And I was just like, okay, you know, that's not something that you want to hear. Uh, this birthday video is not going to be a very nice one. Just, just so you know. But anyway, so the doctor comes in and I'm like, I need this medication. And he's like, sure. And, um, then I, I told him about the, about the papers and he, what did he say? Um, uh, yeah. So I told him about the papers and he was like, oh yeah, we can do that. No problem. We do it all the time, you know? And, um, and then I asked him because there's an option on the thing. It says temporary, temporarily handicap I guess that's like if you break your knee or sprain something you know um and then there's permanent handicap and I'm like I I just I don't like that term permanently handicap um but I was just like you know some days are good some days are bad but if you get the permanent one you only have to re-register it with the state every four years and with the temporary you have to go through the whole process all over again like every month or two something like that um and i was like can you just go ahead and mark it permanent instead of temporary so that i don't have to just constantly do this thing and he he said he like almost was like <laughs> and i thought he was going to be like no but he said <laughs> Yeah, there's nothing temporary about this, so of course I'm going to sign the, the permanent. And I was just like, okay, like everything happened so fast that I didn't have time to register what was going on. And I was just like, okay, because um, I thought I was going to have to like give more explana explanation. And he was just like, oh, yeah, there's, there's nothing permanent about this. We've seen your decline, so, you know, and I was just... At first, I was just like, okay, because that was easier than I thought. Um, but then I was just like, oh, he just went ahead and said that real fast. You know, I was just like, okay. Um, and then we talk about, you know, stuff or whatever. And uh, <laughs> there is a dog barking outside, I told you. Um, sorry about that. But again, this isn't an ASMR video. This is just me trying to celebrate but really just telling you <laughs> I'm so sad um so anyway that's my neighbor she never she always just shoves her dog outside it's like I don't even know how what is the temperature right now 97 degrees it's 97 degrees outside right now and she doesn't care <sighs> anyway so we're leaving and I stand up to, to walk out, and I was there with my son. We, uh, I don't know if we were going to go grocery shopping or what it was. Um, but we, we stood up to leave, and he was like, did you, did you pay the lady up front? And I was like, no, uh, that's usually done at, like, the end of the visit, you know, so I'm, a, I'm about to go do it right now. And he, he put his hand on his, his chest, and he was like this one's on me and I'm like what and he was like this one's on me don't worry about paying anything take your take your prescriptions take your paperwork you just enjoy the day with your son and I was like are you serious like what and he was like it's the right thing to do and I was just like that's so cool thank you you know I was like wow this is amazing. I love my doctor, by the way. Um, not because of that, but he's just the best doctor. Um, man, that dog's really annoying, and I'm so sorry if you can hear it. Um, but anyway, so... As I'm walking out, the receptionist, the doctor, and the nurse, they're all standing at the, the desk... And all three of them are like this 
waving like, bye, have a great day, enjoy the rest of your whatever, you know, and I was like, okay, bye, and the second I shut the door behind me, I immediately just felt this heavy, like, cloud or something, and I was like, oh my god, they feel bad for me, because I'm not, I'm, I wouldn't consider myself old, you know, you'll find out at the end, <laughs> but I because it's, it's a very sad thing for someone young, I'm gonna try not to cry, uh, to, you know, have to get a permanently disabled handicap thing, you know, and I was like, oh my god, that's what he meant by it's the right thing to do because he felt so bad for me that he just gave me the visit free of charge, wrote everything out, and, you know, like, I was, I was like, ugh, and the way that they were waving all happy, the nurse comes in and sees you first and then tells the doctor, like, the gist of the visit, and I was like, oh no, she told him this, and then the receptionist heard, and they were talking about me before he came in. And then they all were like standing there together just waving like, have a good rest of your day, enjoy whatever. And it all happened so fast that I was like, cool, I don't have to pay for this visit and like, you know, whatever. But then I was just like, oh my God. Like it, it was just so like crushing, you know? Um, and it was sad for me. And I was like, do I be sad? Should I cry? And I did, I did. Um, because it is sad, you know? So I went to the, I don't know if it was tax office or, I don't know whoever does that. I went to the courthouse place and I got it right away. It was the easiest thing to get. No big deal. So now I have this handicap placard thing, which is great because I've used it so many times. But I, I, I needed it for a long, for a long time. I just, I didn't know how to do it, and I thought it was gonna be a struggle, you know. But I don't know. It, it, it was sad. Uh, but the saddest thing happened today. Ooh. I'm so sorry. Uh, okay, so, the kids are in school. Today, actually, was the first day of school. Uh, so, I, and I always take my kids to school, because my son, he has issues. You know, he's got sensory processing disorder, and I believe he's on the spectrum. He, he got diagnosed with ADHD, and like, just all these things, you know, he's, he has issues. So, I, I always want to take him to school and pick him up because I don't want him to have to deal with the bus issues because there are bullies on the bus the bus doesn't have AC the bus driver yells like that's that's a lot of triggers for my son that I don't want to put him through uh so we went to meet the teacher and I was having a pretty good day at meet the teacher that happened uh last Friday But my kid's school is so big. There's so many students there. It's a two-level elementary school. And um, they also have portables outside. So this year, my son is upstairs in the back. And my daughter is downstairs and out through the, through the entire school. And then outside to the back. To the side, back, whatever. Anyway, so, I'm like, this is going to be a lot of walking. <sighs> Fingers crossed I can do it, you know? So, we, we drive to the school, and I park. Um, we go in the school, and we go meet my son's teachers. It's upstairs, but they do have an elevator, so we did use the elevator. And then we walked down, and then towards the back... And we met his teachers, they, they were very nice, so he knows his classroom and everything like that. And then 
we want uh, we needed to go meet my daughter's teacher so we took the elevator back down and then we went through the school out the back and then to the right very far very far i was dying <laughs> When we were done meeting her teachers, we had to walk excruciatingly slow back to the car because I was in so much pain. So we get in the car and I'm like, I just need to sit here for a few minutes um, because I have issues with my right leg a lot with uh, pain, muscle weakness, and numbness, and my foot It's partially numb. I can feel the right half, like if this is my this is my foot that I put the gas brake, I can feel this whole section of the foot. So I always drive with it like tilted like that so I can feel it. But it got worse over time and I had to take my shoe off when I drive so that I can fully feel the pedals, you know. Um, but that day it got really painful and I was like, let's just sit here for a minute because I, I need to rest my, my leg and my foot, you know? Because I have issues with the start, stop, start, stop, you know, if there's like traffic or lights and stuff like that because of my leg weakness. But it's never been that bad. Well, that day it was very, very bad, and I live literally like a mile and a half from the school. Very short distance, no big deal. Uh, but there are a lot of stop signs because I have to. I live in the back of the neighborhood, and there are stoplights. Uh, anyway, so I was having difficulty. So every time I got to a stop sign or a stoplight, I had to put the car in brake or park. Um, I had to push the brake to get the car in park and it was very painful and I was like, what is happening? Like I was having a full on panic attack because I was very scared. Um, and I, my husband just got a new job. He will be getting a company vehicle, but right now he's having to drive our car around. So my mom, um, was letting me borrow her car to take the kids back and forth to school uh, until my husband gets the company vehicle. So I was driving my mom's car. Isn't that nice? Isn't my mom just the best? <laughs> um, anyway, but I was really scared because I didn't want to, like, anything to happen to my mom's car. And I was just like, this, I guess I'm just not going to be able to walk around. We made it home, but when, by the time we got into the, to the driveway, I, I was in such a panic mode, like, there was no traffic or anything like that, it was just my own personal, the house is making weird noises, it was my own personal fear of, like, something's wrong, you know, um, and so when we got into the driveway, I literally just started crying, and I normally do not do that in front of my kids, they, they see me in pain, but I try not to show them too much, you know? Um, I try and be strong for them. Uh, but I just, I, I lost it, you know? And I was just crying, crying, crying. And I, I, I told them, I was like, you guys aren't in trouble or anything like that. It's just, I'm scared. And I let them know the truth. I let them know what was going on with me and why I was scared and stuff. Because that's very dangerous, you know? And I was just like, I just, maybe it's because I had to do all that walking and my, my legs and feet couldn't handle it, you know? So, I was like, I'm just not going to drive it uh, at all. Um, I'm going to let my leg rest all weekend, all this stuff. So, Tuesday, I wanted to get gas in my mom's vehicle so that I would have, you know, enough gas for the, the rest of the week when they go to school. And I was fine. So I was like, it was the walking. It was the walking. So I'm just not going to be able to take them in on the first day. I'm just going to have to drop them off. 
Um, so today I got them all ready for school. We go to the school. And I'm like, I'll stand with you out in the front, you know, and get you in the school, but I'm not going to be able to walk you to class, you know, because they knew where their classes were. They've been at this school, I don't know. This will be my son's sixth year and my daughter's seventh, I think. Anyway, um, so they know the school. They know the teachers. They know everything. Um, but it's always just nice to be able to walk your kids to class the first day, you know? So I was very sad, very sad that I wasn't able to do that. But I, I took the, you know, like, oh, it's the first day of school pictures and stuff, you know? And then I went back to the car and I just sat there because there was so much traffic. And I was like, I need to wait until all of these cars leave. Um, cause I don't want to sit in traffic pressing the gas, brake, gas, brake, gas, like, no, I know I won't be able to handle it. So I waited probably about 45 minutes until all the cars were gone. And then I start driving and I'm like, oh no, because I cannot feel my foot and my leg is in so much pain. I'm like, I need to, because my parents live right down the street. I was like, I need to go to my parents' house. Please let there be only green lights, which there actually was only green lights. It, that's, that was God. That was the universe, something. Uh, and I went in and I just started crying. I just started crying. (sighs) Because I can't drive. I'm no longer... I don't feel safe driving. I don't want to put myself or my kids in danger, and I don't want to put other people in danger. I didn't want to crash my mom's car or my car. I was just crushed, you know, because that is a real life thing, you know. I just feel completely useless now. And my mom, she was, you know, completely understanding and she, you know, she, she feels bad for me, but I am just crushed, um, and I'm also panicking because I don't want my son to ride the bus, you know, there's so many issues, but that Friday when I was crying and stuff, my daughter was like, you know, mom, you don't have to take us to school, and I was like, but what about David, he has so many issues. She's like, I'll be here. I can protect him, you know. And I'm like, yeah. Like, my daughter has stepped up so much, which makes me feel bad. Because she shouldn't have to, you know. She should be allowed to be a kid and do kid things, you know. I'm very upset. And I feel trapped because now I'm going to have to rely on someone else all the time. You know, and I don't I don't want to be like, "Mom, take me to the store. Or, Mom, do this." Or, you know, but she said the other day, she was like, "That's that's what I'm here for. That's why I'm retired, you know? And I'm like, no. Uh, I should be the one driving you around. You're retired, you know? And I was like, and you're retired because you should be. You shouldn't have to work and have stress and all this stuff going on, you know? Because I know that I'm going to be a stress on her. 
it's just I feel like guilty. I feel all the terrible things, you know. Uh, so now I'm gonna have to register the kids for the bus, which I'm sure they'll be fine. But I'm very protective of my son because of his issues. But I'm gonna have to let that go. I mean, what other option do I have? See what I mean? This is like the worst birthday video ever. But I am eating delicious pineapple. <laughs> it's the only thing good about the video. And the pineapple is fantastic. <sighs> I'm emotionally eating right now. That's what I'm doing. So, this literally just happened. I just got home because my mom dropped me off. She, the rest of the week, she's going to pick the kids up, drop them off. Uh, but next, starting next Monday, they're going to have to do the bus. And I'm like, I don't even know how to set them up for the bus, you know. And I had just told the teachers because they were like, how are they going to get picked up the first day? And blah, blah, blah. And I was like car 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 the whole year like you know and now I'm gonna have to be like I'm just kidding uh you know all that stuff I told you yeah I cancel it we're gonna have to do this now so I'm gonna look like an idiot <laughs> like one of those moms that doesn't have their stuff together which I always have my stuff together when it's kid related uh and I'm gonna have to figure out how to sign them up for the bus which I don't know how to do but starting Monday, they're going to be doing bus stuff, which I'm not okay about. I'm not okay. Uh, but I trust that my daughter will take care of her brother. And I guess I'm glad that it's happening this year and not next year because next year my daughter is going to be in a different school. So she won't be able to protect her son or my son. <laughs> you know what I mean. But my mom, she was just like, almost like completely shocked because she was like, I knew you were having issues with your foot and your leg. I knew this day was coming. She was like, I just didn't think it was come. It would come this soon. Me either. Best birthday. Mm. But... Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think. I mean, I am grateful that my mom is able to take me grocery shopping and fun shopping if I want, you know. And for the rest of the week, she'll, she'll pick the kids up and drop them off. I am extremely grateful for that. But I've always just been very independent. Like, I like to do things. I like to be in charge. I like to make sure things are done the correct way. And, like, I keep having to give up control. And that is not something that I am okay with. <laughs> no, I have OCD and control issues. Like, are you kidding me? But I guess it's, it's just, like, uh some terrible life lesson that I'm supposed to be learning. <sighs> Don't like that. So, today has not been a good day. It started out good. The kids were so cute. <laughs> so cute. And that shirt that I didn't like of my son's, he wore that today because he was like, Mom, I'm going to look my best today. It was that blue polo one that I was just like, mm, I don't really like it. He looks so cute in it. So cute. She's still not letting her dog in. That's not okay. Anyway, so. What did you guess 
How old do you think I am? Because right now it looks like I'm a freaking baby, right? <laughs> um, okay. So, I am, as of today, when this video comes out, I am officially 40. 40. Did you, did you guess that? Did you guess older? <laughs> I feel like I'm so much older than that. Just because of all the issues that I have. Uh, but I, I also, my brain does not feel 40. My body feels like it's about 60, okay? Maybe older. My brain feels like, I don't know, 20? Uh, sometimes, sometimes... <sighs> I lose my thought and like can't focus and stuff but f I don't feel 40 at all um, and I, I would say that's it I'm officially old because my kids told me for years because I would joke around and be like oh I'm gonna be 36 I'm gonna be 38 you know I'm gonna be old and they've always said no mom you're not gonna be old until you're 40 so here comes 40. So I tell them, I am officially, by your declaration, old now. And they both were like, I talked to them separately, you know, saying the same thing, just, you know, messing around. And they both were like, no, you're not old. And I'm like, but you said, because they both had said that 40 was old. I was like, but you guys said that you're old when you're 40 and I'm 40 so that means that I'm old and they're like yeah but you're not old and I'm like so what is old then <laughs> what is old uh, what do you think old is you know I I don't really I don't really know they said that now they think old is 60 so, I have 20 years to be old. I don't think I'm going to make it to 60. Just saying. Don't tell my kids that, though. <laughs> uh, but I would like to. I, I would like to. Because it's my dream. To be an old lady, rocking on her front porch, watching my grandkids play with all the gray, white hair. Every, m most people dye their hair because they're like, oh my god, grays. And I'm like, please, more gray. Come out. Like, I want to be the old lady. I don't know why. I just, I want to be an old lady. <laughs> I don't want to feel like an old lady because I already got the feelings. But I want to look like an old lady. I just want to be one of those cute little old ladies sitting on her porch. <laughs> But 60, I just don't feel like 60 is old because, like, my mom is in her 60s. Well, I don't feel like my mom is old. Is that a thing where it's, like, the older you get or the older your parents get, you're like, oh, well, they're not old yet. They're not old yet. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. So, anyway. Uh, but, I guess good news for you um, because school has started so that means I will have now I'll have all the time in the world because I'm gonna be stuck at home forever <laughs> um, but there's gonna be more time for me to make videos because that's one thing that I can do I can sit here and I can talk to you I can sit here and I can tap and look through magazines and stuff like that that it doesn't take anything out of me as long as I'm sitting here and sometimes I have vision issues you know um, but for most of my videos I don't I don't need to like have perfect vision and stuff you know because I, I don't know um, so that's one thing that I can do. The day that I am not able to make videos and just ramble and rant with you, that's going to be an even harder day for me. Uh, 
but hopefully that doesn't come for a very very long time because I really enjoy making these videos and I like hanging out with you because you're always so nice to me <laughs> and I like telling you about my day even when I have really hard crappy days or when I have really good days I like showing you the things that I can buy for the kids and Christmas decorations and fall and I like the holiday videos the best you know um or like my empty empty review or I don't know I can't really think of any other videos right now but I really enjoy making videos and stuff because it's it's easy for me now the uploading process is kind of hard because of the vision looking at a computer screen it takes me longer to upload and edit videos than it does to actually make the videos so a lot of times there is no editing like i'm not gonna edit this video <laughs> you know what is there to edit right <sighs> i feel better getting all that out i do it still sucks and i haven't even told my husband <laughs> because this just happened today and he's at work so when he comes home hopefully i will have accepted the sadness <laughs> i don't know anyway sorry if this video made you depressed but it's what's going on and i like to share my life with you so anyway i hope you enjoyed that <laughs> i don't know <laughs> thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye bye